All right. Another day, another adventure. Um, so basically what happened was yesterday I got the spark plugs replaced, found out that the serpentine belt was the wrong one of the two options. So naturally I had to put everything back together and get back to town. Uh, managed to get the belt swapped without a receipt. I think I mentioned that in the previous video. Got back, come to find out the brake pads that I thought were the right ones because I looked them up for Silverado, but it never mentioned a, a weight class. Uh, I thought they were good. I assumed they were good. What do they say about assume? It makes an ass out of you and me. Turns out these were avalanche brake pads. <sighs> so I put the old ones back on, but it turned out I wasn't getting squealers. I was getting the... Um, non-squealer side of the inner had been pushed in slightly. I believe I mentioned this in the previous video as well. Uh, so basically, I you know swapped the pads so that there was a better one on the inside where the majority pressure is. Uh, you know, put it back together, end of night, okay, fine, I'm going to get this tomorrow. So I set an alarm. I slightly oversleep my alarm. I wake up. I have a cigarette. I go to the bathroom. I take care of the cats. I get dressed. I go to town. I forget my wallet. Now, it's not a big deal because I didn't have money in it that I needed, but it did have my ID. Um, so then I uh, swung through the bank. Now the thing was on my shopping trip previously to get all of these parts originally, uh, Tuesday I believe, I spent basically all the cash that I had amassed from tips from the previous week's work. Um, I had gone and deposited my paycheck. I took a bit out to throw something at my property tax. The courthouse was closed, so I said, okay, buying car parts. Because um, it was like, I got to do one or the other. And I think I'm better with the car part option because I'm going to be in a better position to be a little more efficient with my vehicle, to be able to save and retain a little bit more per day uh, increments add up. Uh, case in point, the, the change jar. <clears throat> so, I went to do my thing yesterday, went to town and back, didn't really have to spend any money, had nine bucks in my pocket left, threw that in the gas tank, uh, got up today, went into town, hit the bank again, um, grabbed enough to get brake pads and most of a tank of gas, uh, so I'm basically set up to start the day at work, uh, for some reason, they had a deal where the uh, they had two options for uh, ceramic um, platinum grade, you know, top of the line brake pads. That's what I prefer to run on the truck. They last way longer. Uh, it's just a little thing. It's like if yeah, if you're broken, you got to have brake pads, and all you have is enough to get the little cheap ones. Get the little cheap ones, and immediately begin saving up to get a platinum set. And of course, if you go for the high end ceramics, you got to get the um, rotors that can handle it too. Uh, but once you have them, they last way longer. We're talking three to four times longer lifetime, uh, better braking throughout and you don't have to brake as much. So, uh, heck of a deal. One set was 60, one set was 41. Which one do you think I picked? Uh, so then I threw the rest of it into gas pack cigarettes and a coffee at the gas station. The gas station has a policy where you have to present ID. I always have it ready. I watched them turn somebody else away for not having his ID, and then I go to reach for my pocket, and I'm like, oh, crap. Thankfully, the general manager was there. She had just gotten on the brand-new employee about this, and I was like, I'm sorry. Can you vouch for me on this one? I promise I never, ever, ever am not without am without my wallet. I just it's, grabbed a pants, had a good brake pad. Sorry. And she goes, yeah, I, okay, I get it. Um, as I was like, I gotta be at work tonight. I cannot drive on the bad brakes. I had the wrong ones. This is, I'm not trying to tell you my life story. That's what it is. She knows I'm a talker. So she says, okay, this time this is, and she tells the clerk, she says, this is your one, one that you, I'm going to have you do on this one on. And I said, dude, trust me. I promise. Next time you see me, I'm going to have my ID ready when I get cigarettes. This is how I roll. I understand the clerk's job. I do not grief the clerk about ID because it's just their job. And it's not like a freaking vaccine passport. It's an, are you old enough? Prove that you're old enough. Which, you know, that's a whole other argument about whether or not that's legit. I don't want to get into it. So anyway, got that took care of. Uh, put in a decent amount of gas, got uh, back home, sprinkled in rain and trying to give me anxiety. But when I got back here, it wasn't too bad. And the ground was not even wet enough to have softened much, if any, from yesterday. So I was like, okay, I'm just not parked in the same spot. 
The issue with working on gravel with a jack stand is you have to make sure that when the weight on, of the truck comes down on the stand that you know it's going to sink through the gravel a little bit. You want to make sure that it doesn't break off a rock and jolt and fall, anything like that. So it's a very careful, different process. It takes me, it took me as long to get the jack situati situated, lift it, put the stand under it to the correct height and get the jack down and then lift up the control arm to get the tire off. It took me longer to do that than it did to do the brakes on each side. Um, just as, you know, an indication, the brake pads were super, super simple. We got new slider hardware, we got fresh grease, we got brand new pads, and it looks like I'm probably gonna have to replace that driver's side caliper as well as the uh, rubber brake hose just in case. And then eventually it'll be a good idea to get the other one on the front too, because they're about the same age. Um, but with time, this one wore down to the point that it heated just enough that it was sticking. Um, I may have ruined my caliper, I'm not sure. The other thing is, when I took the, the driver's side set off and did that one first, I had to put the, the bad pad on the outside, and even just at that bit of two town and back, had put in a 32nd of an inch, and I, this is not an accurate size, I'm just saying, it's a teeny little tiny groove from where one of those, uh, it's, it's almost like a, a metal stud that is like support for the caliper to push through the pad onto the, the friction material. Um, that, and, and maybe it's embedded in the friction, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, it, it comes up a little bit above the surface of the metal brake pad, like the, the metal surface behind the, the friction material. <clears throat> and it had made a groove <clears throat> just from the trip into town. No hard braking. I was going very easy because I knew that that was the thing with that. And yet, that's what it did. So when I do my caliper, I'm also getting a new rotor. Uh, eventually, all fours will get new rotors, new pads, probably new calipers because the ones on it are a few years old. And when you live on gravel and you drive it a lot like I do, this is going to be a thing to go through. Thankfully, it's a fairly easy process. Now, being out here by myself, not in a shop with somebody that might come in to help or whatever, I'm definitely going to have to invest in another pneumatic bleeder because the one that I had from five or six years ago is broken. Uh, they wear out. It's cheap. So, um, that was today. I got all of this done. Uh, I left here about 1 or 1.15. I got done at about 3.30, and that included the trip to town and all the shenanigans to get home. And then doing the job. Uh, it went very easily. It's a good opportunity to look at how things are doing there. And, um, yeah, so uh, I should be good to go for driving. I'm currently waiting on towels in the dryer so that I can take my shower, get ready to go, and uh, should be able to get there just in time. And like I said, I already got cigarettes, a tank, three-quarter full of gas. The only thing is, uh, once I get to work, I'll have to go about getting a soda after my first run. Other than that, I'll be ready to just be in the groove and grind all night. It's the goal. In other news, uh, on the politics front, some pretty hilarious hashtags going around. At this point, it's undeniable. Everybody hates the current president and his administration, except for like a handful of psycho idiots. Hey, Steve. That's my boyo. Check this out. Now, this guy was on my lap earlier. Look at that, that's a boy. And I noticed something. Get a quick look here. You see how pink the inside of his mouth is? The black and pink there? The pink parts were white when I took him to the hospital. And what this means is his anemia appears to be less pronounced or subsiding. So, that's what I got. Uh, vehicle Saga is at a close for the moment with the next chapter 
uh, already foreshadowed. Uh, Mr. Cat Guy here is hopefully, hopefully getting better. Seems like it. That color of his gums was legit the color of that ceiling. And now it's more like that. Big deal. It's a very big deal. So, everybody have a fantastic Friday, even though you probably won't see this until late Friday night. I, okay, sorry. Retros retroactively, I hope your Friday was great. And uh, may Saturday be great as well.